All right, welcome back. Episode 11. It's ridiculous. It's not even funny. God damn it. Uh, so, uh, you know, at least being underwater, it makes sense for her hair to be fucking weird. Yeah, that's true. It's Actually, like, her yeah, her hair always kind of acts like it's she's underwater. Weird. But, like, at least here it makes kind of sense. Yeah. All right, let's go through fucking Angela's door from Silent Hill 2. Yeah. That was her name, right? Angela? Yeah, it was Angela. I think so. Probably. I was the last one in the library the night of the fire. The log I added to the grate was dead when I went upstairs to bed with Dinah. If it wasn't, I may be responsible for my family's deaths. Unsure what any of that meant to me, or why any of that was relevant. It's just her figuring out more shit about her past and stuff. So is is going through the doors. I mean, ob, it's pretty ob ob metaphor there, pretty obvious. You know? Yeah. But like, if you wanted to explain it to all the people who are watching this, that would be great. <laughs> You don't need to explain it to me or anything, like what the hell's going on, but like other people probably want to know. Did you see that? Yeah, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I was going to mention that fucking Slender Man was there, but I thought you were going to start explaining that metaphor that you really don't need to. Oh, fuck this guy, dude. No, I don't like this guy at all. Fuck off. Oh, I don't like him at all. Fuck. I think you need to shoot the bombs. It, hurt, it like the bombs hurt him like when he pulls his bombs out and he's like ha 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 oh maybe I need to block can I lock onto him maybe I can block it with my umbrella yeah yeah that's probably what I need to do come on shithead Whoop. oh no he blasted my umbrella out of my fucking hands yikes god damn yeah I'm pretty sure you just need to shoot his bombs and it'll like stun him or something Yeah, fuck you, fuck, fucking ass. Look at that guy. Look at dickhead. Stupid sailor guy. Oh, I was fucking holding the trigger. Goddamn. Why am I not hitting him now? Do I have to fight this guy? Dude, fuck this guy. I think so. Oh, he's fucking toast. Did, did his soul just leave his body? Yes. Did we just see the light go out of this guy? Yeah. What the fuck? That's the way back. See the door? Yeah. Um. But speaking of that door that I totally don't have to under, uh, explain or anything. Right. So she has like this whole crazy thing where she's like not sure what happened in her past and stuff. Uh-huh. And um, like, but she was in an insane asylum... Because, like, her family all burnt when their house burnt down. Right. And she was the only survivor. And, um, she, like, doesn't really know, like, what caused the fire. And so, like, she, like I'm, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a whole bunch of repressed memories or something. She, so, yeah, she and, repressed like, a lot of memories. She has survivor's guilt. She's concerned that she was the cause of the fire, and she's trying to figure that out. Yeah. And this this guilt that she's been feeling and bottling up is what like the cause of the corruption in Wonderland. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Glad we could clear that up. Yeah. <clears throat> to, to, yeah. Uh, yeah. Glad we can mutually explain that to the audience. <laughs> Uh, you know why Angela goes upstairs made out of fire? Why? In um in Silent Hill Two. Why? So in in Silent Hill Two, when every spoiler alert for Silent Hill Two, by the way, everybody, if you haven't played that. Also, spoiler alert for Alice Mattis Returns. I mean, yeah, I guess that too, but um, yeah. So anyway, so the reason why she goes up the stairs is actually this is pretty spoiler, not super spoilery. Actually, I'm pr gonna be pretty vague on purpose. So she goes up the stairs of fire at the end because it represents her like accepting her past and kind of making peace with it because um, 
descending is like a big metaphor in Silent Hill 2. It's basically you're delving deeper and deeper into your psyche and trying to get to the bottom of, you know, what's what's causing the, the trauma in your life and everything. Yeah. And so that's why throughout um, James's uh, time in Silent Hill, he's constantly descending. He's constantly going down. Oh, oh, it's a shrinky thing. It's illusory. Yeah. Um, he's constantly descending and going down deeper and deeper. And then at, towards the end there, when he meets up with Angela, who's accepted what has happened uh, because, you know, of the boss fight that happens, she just goes up the stairs and just disappears there. And, yeah, also everyone's Silent Hill kind of looks different. And that's why everything in everything in Angela's is on fire and burning for some reason. And then everything in Eddie's is cold, which is why you, like, you fight him in the freezer. Like, the last time you see Eddie is in a freezer. The last time you see Angela is on the flaming stairs. Yeah. And then, um, James is just fog and darkness. Yeah. And then the little girl who's a little bitch, but is clearly supposed to be innocent. She's a little shit. I hate that little girl in that game. But, um, she's supposed to kind of represent innocence. And that's why she's, like, not scared of the monsters. She doesn't know what the hell everyone's talking about when they mention them. Because she doesn't see that. She just sees, like, a old abandoned town or whatever. Probably still pretty spoopy, but nothing supernatural. I mean, supernatural. everything's a little spoopy. To a kid. Yeah, that's true. You know, don't really understand how stuff... Barrel Bottom? Dude, that's a fucking rad name for a bar. Hell yeah. Also, that's a dope little star. Like, not star. Fucking... Seahorse? Seahorse. Yeah, look at these little seahorse boys floating around. I want <laughs> I hate the way seahorses move. It's like, why did nature design this thing to do this? Like, it, it's so counterintuitive. Seahorses are ridiculous. They're retarded. They're, they just don't make any sense. It's an animal that's just totally off the wall. Yeah, I mean, like, how did that survive? Yeah, like, yeah, why was this ideal? Why was this, This is like, the ideal course for evolution to take, the, for this thing to fucking exist and work the like, way it does. Because, like, natural selection is supposed to be a thing, yeah, but Yeah, and this I thing can barely fucking move in its natural environment. Yeah. It just kind of flits around with its dumb little tail. Oh, God, kitty cat. What lies beneath this patina of civility? Something wicked, I'll wager. If I ever do a D&D campaign that's set on a giant sea turtle, Barrel Bottom will be the name of the inn you guys probably first go to. Awesome. Look at these fucking guys. He needs help. Yeah, yeah right, buddy. <laughs> He's like, can't talk ah! you can't you can't talk to me though. I can't talk to him. No, cut him. Not. <laughs> Fucking cut him. Oh, does that have titties? Yeah, fish tits. Fish titties. Fish titties. And teeth. I really hate the teeth. Oh god, the teeth are quite unsettling. Oh, I really. Hate uh, that. I wish you didn't oh, point those out to me. The eyes are twitching too. That's lame as hell. Uh, it's terrifying. I hate it. Mm 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 mm. Want to go get a drink? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to talk to somebody or interact with something in this place. It's all pretty static here, though. You want to talk to this guy? I can't talk to anybody, dude. I want to talk to these fish guys. I want to know what, talk to you. Yeah, I want to know what these fish guys' deal is, you know? Okay. Well, guess, you're down there now. I guess I'm down here now. Don't have to worry about the fish guys. No, dude, I don't like fighting these guys, dude. Can I make them just fuck off? No. Is there, like, an option to turn these guys off? No. Oh, you're supposed to shoot it while it's still in his hand. Yeah. So it detonates. I was trying to, like, send him back at him. No. That's why I kept getting hit. That's why I kept saying, like, fucking make him blow up next to his fucking head. So he gets fucked. See, I don't know. They're so much easier. Yeah, they're not that bad. Realize yeah, because yeah. I was trying to like shoot the bombs midair to send them back. You know what I mean? I mean, okay, yeah, that that that. Would That's how every enemy up, I've yeah. encountered has I've dealt with so far. Plus, it's like video game tropey, you know? Send yeah. the projectile back to him. Bounce. Wing. <gasps> Memory. Oh no. Most theatricals and gaffs are unsuitable for young persons. Punch and Judy dust-ups are no more than vulgar domestic arguments. Punch and Judy? That sound, why does that sound so familiar? 
I don't know. Punch and Judy. Yeah. Is that like a Victorian thing? Maybe. This fucking guy. Look at that guy. This fucking guy. I like his little cape. He's clearly like fucking ran this bitch though. This guy is like, he looks like fucking Handsome Jack. Doesn't oh, he a little bit? Oh, he does. He's like Handsome Jack's cousin. Yeah. He's like Handsome Jack and Kefka, like, smushed together. Yeah, that actually is very... Yeah, right? That's pretty apt. more accurate than you think. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't like that. Why'd you have to tell me that? <laughs> oh, fucking Cowboy Bebop. Punch and Judy or is the, the hot shot show or whatever. Diddly lit, diddly lit. Oh. Punch and Judy is the name of the, yeah. The breasty chick and the cowboy dude who talk about bounties. That's Punch and Judy. That's dope. I like that reference that's just randomly in this I, I don't know. I mean, that the Cowboy Bebop thing might be a reference to something older. I don't. I, I do not know. Do not know. I don't know either. Tell us in the comments. <laughs> like, legit. I'm curious. Yes, please. <laughs> you can get health. Huh? Where? The shell. The empty shell. You walk into the empty what? shell. Oh, I thought you were talking about one of those flower dudes. Yeah, the gaping butthole. Yeah, I see that. With I was heading right toward it. gaping butthole. It's, it's a gaper, all right. I wonder what this one is. I can't remember, honestly. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all. Oh, God. What, what am I doing? I'm just got to stay alive. Oh, it's just wave onslaught. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can do that. Alright, so out of the two games that I'm, like, long playing right now, who do you think would win in a fight? Mario with all of his powers from Paper Mario, including, like, his badges and stuff? Or Alice with all of her powers that she has in Wonderland? Um... You see, that's really hard, because she does the growing thing in this game. Where she just gets massive. Oh, yeah. I like how they back the fuck up. They're like, oh, <laughs> like, shit. They're like, oh, shit, that bitch went crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is just a time trial, though. Like, you just have to stay alive for the time allotted. Success. <coughs> Nailed it. First try, no warm-ups. No warm-ups, first try, bitch. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got a little tickle in my throat. Just wash it down with some beer. Yeah. That's how you fix it. <clears throat> He's dead. I thought the yeah. guy was dead. Yeah, and the rabbit's dead, too. Yeah, but I didn't They're like... They're both dead. I, yeah, but the rabbit was kind of a dickhead, wasn't he? The yeah, hatter was, was kind of a chill. Dickhead, yeah. yeah, the hatter was just like, give me my legs and arms, even though they can totally run away of their own free Don't world. even... Remind me. Well, at least the legs. The arms were kind of stuck. The arms are stuck doing arm stuff. It's like a flower around here somewhere or some shit. I'm gonna fucking die pretty soon. <laughs> like, you're like, oh man, I oh, just man, got I don't fucked know if up. I can die. Hey, you got some help. Hey, you got a little bit more help. So, uh, yeah, being able to grow big, that's all, That's always a good one. Yeah. Being able to shrink down, too, maybe would make her more... And she definitely has, like, you know, short-range teleport powers and can string together combos and stuff. But, I don't know, man. Paper Mario's got... He's got a variety of different attacks, items, and partners to help him. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um... And he's, like... Totally like customizable too with the different badges and stuff. He could, he could basically be able to swap on the fly into a situation that could help him beat Alice. I don't know. I don't know. But Alice is pretty versatile too. She has a wide set of weapons and and moves at her disposal. So. Yeah, and if there are any of those uh, crying violets nearby, she's basically good. Oh, I mean, what the hell's a crying violet? Oh, the Healy Doos. Yeah, the Healy Doos. Um. Well, yeah, Mario's got some mushrooms then in that case, too. 
Yeah. See, she's kind of like area dependent on healing, though, whereas Mario could pack healing items with him. So that might factor in. Yeah, but she can also, like, dodge, like, so much. This is a dumb discussion. Like, <laughs> like I know I'm the one so, who brought it up. Uh, up there, right there. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of know I'm yeah, the one cool. who brought him up, but I'm like, what a weird versus that would be. It would be a very strange... You know what, Sakurai? Story. Add fucking Alice as a character <laughs> in uh, Smash Bros, dude. Come uh, on. Please do that. I would play her even if I would suck at playing her. You suck at Smash Bros, so... I mean, it's by choice, though. I do not understand that statement. I mean, okay, so I suck at Smash Bros... Because I play nothing but Jigglypuff and I just troll everyone by making everyone go to sleep. Oh, so if you actually tried, then you'd be able to beat everybody is what you're trying to say? I'm not saying everyone, but oh, okay. I'd be able to beat oh, most of okay. them. Okay, alright, fucking put your money where your mouth well, is what then. About, okay, so you remember that one time I was playing, I think, Roy? That I fucked everyone up real bad. I do not remember that. Yeah, because you were drunk. Oh, so, so if I was sober, then I could probably beat you. That's what I'm trying to say. No. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to Smash Bros. it up now. I you gotta don't fucking. Don't want to play Smash Bros. I mean, not like... not not right now. I'm just I know, saying, but I just yeah. don't generally want to play it. It's just it's a game that I have no interest in. Like everything about it seems so. I like how they introduced that enemy. Like it was gonna be like this new thing that you have to deal with. This new way of beating him. It's like no, you just fucking shoot him. You just shoot him with your gun. That's how you get rid of him. Anyway. Anyway, got distracted. Me meanwhile, at the, the bottom thing. of the abyss. Maybe if you were less distracted, you would have never uh, fallen. You know, I'm fucking... Shut up, that's what. They are kind of a pain in the ass when you gotta, like, do jumpy shit, though. Because they can just shoot you. Well, that's how you kill them first. Bye! Later, nerd. I love that they just fucking fall. Oh, they also do like area effect stuff. Because mm -hmm. those things stick around for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I could see them being a colossal pain in my anus once, uh, you know, they start showing up in groups with other shit. Yeah. Because that's God what this it. game does. Is It's like, hey, here's this thing. Uh, it would be really shitty if, like, a whole bunch of those showed up with a whole bunch of other enemies, right? Yeah, it's actually the way it, it kind of shows enemies to you and, like, the way that you're supposed to beat them. It's pretty elegant because they don't... It doesn't fuck you right off the bat, you know? They're like, hey, here's these things. Get used to their movesets and what they do and everything. Cool, now we're gonna throw those and some other bullshit at you. Enjoy. Have fun! Bye! I hope you enjoyed your... There was something really jiggly. How come I only got two? How come I only got two that time? I think it's because you bounced on the thing. <clears throat> so you get a bounce? That counts as a jump? Maybe? I don't know. God damn. Oh, it's because... Yeah. Okay. I think it's because... Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. There we go. We're Whatever. good. No problem. We're good. No problem. We got it. Everything's fine. Give me that tooth. Yeah, man, fuck you. Give me that. You bony idiot. Give me that bottle. I really hate those. Um, I'm pretty sure at a certain point those are like platforms that you're jumping on too. Oh, no. Why do you gotta tell me this shit, <laughs> dude? You're making me not want to play this game. Oh, but come on. It's so much fun. No, it's you're making me not want to play it in the same way. You're like, Dark Souls, what the fuck? Why did you do this? To I guess I'll beat this now. <laughs> but look. You get go watch the show. Yeah, Punch and Judy. Yeah. We're going to punch some Judys, man. No, no, no we're not. No, we're, we're going to punch some uh, Judys. Beyond the Keyboard does not uh, advise or condone any of that behavior. Um, we apologize. We'll probably... I'll, I'm going to go ahead and edit that out. <laughs> and, um... In post. You, oh, yeah. Because that's, that's the most offensive thing that's been on Beer on the Keyboard is punching Judys. You keep saying it now, and uh, we might have to just scrap this whole episode. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh no. Oh. It would be pretty amusing if I did actually edit that out, because then people would be like, what the fuck did she say? Honestly, it would be kind of funny. 
<laughs> like, not gonna lie. Because people will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, everything else she said was just fucking terrible. Like, everything else on Beyond the Award is terrible. What are the, What was so bad? Yeah. Like, I did that on an episode of the podcast once where I called Justin smart. And he was all like, oh, got that on record. I'm like, nope, I do the editing. I'm going to go ahead and bleep that out. And I totally did it. <laughs> and so people are like, wait, what did you just call him? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah, get your soul leashed out, you bitch. Get your soul leashed out, you bitch. Dude, you can get, like, a ridiculous amount of health, by the way. Like, over time. Because, like, every single level, it has, like, a certain number of, um... Fucking... The shell things. Mm -hmm. And, like, you can get some fucking ridic health health levels. <laughs> Did it go boop? I, yeah, I heard a little boop, too. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Boop. 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 What the hell? Oh, man, it's great. Once I do the thing, I'm not on a time frame anymore, right? No, yeah, you're good. Once I got it greenlit. What the fuck am I doing over here? This is stupid and pointless. <laughs> well, yeah, what? that was a dumb what? journey over there, I guess. <laughs> I think the game just trolled you. I think it did, too. <laughs> I think it's like, ha ah, there's some stuff over here like, definitely man. definitely some stuff over here not yeah you idiot fuck yourself <laughs> you okay stupid, dumb idiot so yeah we're gonna check out this fucking theater next time on beer on the keyboard next right? time on beer on the keyboard fuck yeah dude I'm, i mean i'm just gonna, I'm gonna click this stuff real quick but yeah fuck yeah the camera's